Now that it's quiet here, they're really sort of waking up now the people are gone. It's super dark. Tigers and leopards have attacked and killed people here. I actually feel a bit sick. I need to get out of here. Welcome back to Amy's Crypt. I am currently at Bangad Fort, the most haunted place in all of India. Just waiting to lose the sun so that we can do some paranormal investigations. If you guys haven't already, go check out my part one video. I'm gonna link that below, but stay tuned because tonight's gonna be a very spooky one. Alright guys, so it's almost dark and we're just heading towards the front gates, hoping that we are able to stay in the town of Bangard for a little bit after dark. But I'm already suspecting that a lot of the noises and the disembodied voices that have been rumoured to come from the town at night, which people always think are the ghosts, could well be animals. There are a lot of monkeys here. Um, we've probably got a lot of footage from them during the day and they're beautiful, but now that it's quiet here they're really sort of waking up now the people are gone so I, f I think that i can hear birds i think that i can hear monkeys you can probably hear them on my camera now maybe but they kind of sound like little cries like some of them sound like people crying there's one going on now out there somewhere it does sound creepy but i don't know that that's a ghost Alright guys, so we've just left Bangad Fort and unfortunately we did our best to stay in there as long as we could or try and do a little deal and stay in there to get some nighttime footage and investigate and it's just not possible. It's, you know, they say it's forbidden and everyone was like, no, 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 not possible. Um, but what we do have access to is the tomb of the guru who is from one of the legends and supposedly cursed Bangad. Um, so we're going to go inside and check this out, but we're probably going to go back to the walls of Bangor and see if there's another access point or just talk to them again. You know, we're here in India, we may as well try. <laughs> Alright guys, so just a, there's a motorbike coming towards us. They're going to tell us off for filming here. Too. So just an update, we've had some security from the fort come over to join us at this tomb because they've told us it isn't safe. There's leopards and tigers in the area and they have been known to kill people apparently. So this is supposedly connected to a national park. So we're going to go in for the quickest look inside the temple. We'll be right back. And they're going to just stay with us because they're scared for our safety. And that is, I need my torch because I can't see a thing. That is probably the most terrifying thing <laughs> about being here. another animal out there too which is concerning to hear right after hearing that there's leopards and tigers around okay 
So what we're going to do is we are going to try a ghost tube here in the tomb and just walk around and see if we can pick up on anything. This place is pretty cool. It's very nice at night as well. It's pretty cool. 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 The whole of Banger turned completely different as soon as all the people had left. It, I mean, it sounded different, its atmosphere was different, it was a lot more peaceful and just... Yeah, I feel like the animals almost came a little bit more to life as well in the dark, so... Okay, so this is a ghost tube session inside the tomb of Balad Nut, and that is pretty cool because he is thought to be one of the people who possibly cursed Bayonet. And it's one of the reasons why it's so haunted and it yeah, became a ghost town. Um, I have my language set to Hindi on this. I'm just going to do a circle. I also can't see any magnetic readings flaring. But what we can do... Kia bala nav Yaha mir ir sutwe Is bala nav here with me? Apni is Juja Koshrop Ki on Diya. Why did you curse this place? Killer Uchcha. Heya for I is the fault good or evil? So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pick up any valid EVPs because there is a lot of animal noise, car noise, even though we're in the middle of nowhere, there's a lot of cars seem to be zooming around. Um, I think the guys that followed us, though, we can also hear them. But yeah, not picking up any magnetic readings or anything here. And I'm scared of leopards and such, so I'm going to wrap this up now. Our friends that were protecting us just left and we're just walking away from the tomb now. And I did manage to do a couple of paranormal investigation segments in the dark, though it was during the day, within Bangor Fort itself. So I'm just going to flick back to those and show you those because they're a little bit interesting. It's completely dark and it really smells like there's animals, bats, pigeons, I don't know what, but there's a lot of crap, <laughs> I'm going to say. So I'm going to go in here. So, how good can you see on night shot? Yeah, I can see the walls. I'm going to turn the torch off. This room is so completely pitch black. That was super creepy. I feel like if there weren't other tourists yabbering around, it would be pretty scary in here. <laughs> but yeah, I can see why there's a lot of stories about this place at night. When you go to these places and you finally get alone in the dark, they always seem a lot scarier. And that's, I think, when your mind can play tricks on you. But a lot of the report, paranormal reports to come out of uh, Bangor Fort in particular are uh, disembodied voices, screams, uh, talking, women's laughter even. A lot of that has been reported by people outside of the fort. 
Uh, they've even seen lights coming from the fort at night when it's all closed off and locked up. It's supposed to be a very active location and one that not a lot of people come to at night because it's so difficult to get access being forbidden. The Archaeological Survey of India has actually posted signs forbidding it uh, entry after dark and a lot of people, there's a lot of rumours, people believe that that's because of the ghosts and the paranormal activity here and that it can be very dangerous and people cannot exit once they enter and will never be seen again. Alright guys, because it's quieted down a little bit in here and we are alone in the dark, I want to reach out and do a spirit box. I'm going to be reaching out in Hindi, which I do not speak. If you do speak Hindi, make sure to listen very closely uh, to any words or phrases that I might uh, pick up on this device. Uh, it sweeps through radio stations, but some people believe that ghosts can use the device to talk through. Also, please excuse my very poor Hindi pronunciation. It's um, really not easy. Uh, so this is a spirit box in the bowels of Bangard Fort. I just heard a noise down to my right. It sounded like um, like a sweeping, scratchy noise. Were Any you filming rats or something? Were you... No, um, no, I don't think so. Oh my god. I don't feel like there's animals in here though. Should you? Okay. Namaste. Mira Nama Amy, hey. Hello, my name is Amy. Kia up, but Karenge. Would you like to talk? Tumhara Nam Kam here. What is your name? I feel as though it's tried to say some things. It's an odd noise I've heard come through. I heard a female voice sound, but you were talking. Yeah, I know. Mocha se, but Carlo, talk to me. Right? I feel sick in here, with that smell. I've been sick for about four days there, guys. So it's not paranormal? Well. well, maybe. <laughs> this smell... It does smell in here. It might be a phantom smell. <laughs> I don't know, it's so bad. Kia, killer, sharp hit here. Is this force... Is this fort cursed? Kahan kits near Bhutte. How many ghosts are here?
Kilo Ucha. Hey, uh, Borai. Is the fort good or evil? I actually feel a bit sick. I need to get out of here. All right, guys. I had to leave that room because I feel I feel incredibly ill in there. I don't know uh, what it is. Probably maybe the smell. Um, but I can't stand in in there anymore. Um, if you did hear anything in that session, uh, I'm going to be reviewing it. But if there's maybe Hindi words, please let me know if you can translate. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure that we picked anything up. Right, so we were just in one of the rooms in, in the fort and it was very dark in there and it stunk so bad of bad and I felt, started, I had to leave. I felt really sick and I feel really, really faint right now. Like, I just felt really dizzy in that room. I don't want to say it's paranormal. There are lots of reports of people being overcome with dizziness in this fort but I've been sick, deadly sick for at least four, well I've been sick since I got to India for about two weeks but I've been deadly sick for about four days and I can't eat, I can't, yeah I feel really not good right now but it was just really come on in that room, maybe it's the smell Best spirit box session ever. <laughs> Can I have some water? Alright guys, so we've made our way into another part of the fort and we're going to try and do another spirit box here and see how we go. My last one was cut a little bit short because I started to feel uh, really nauseous and really, really sick. And I do a little bit here as well. I think a lot of it's the smell just because I am very sick right now. But, um... Yeah, we're going to try one here again. I'll be reaching out in uh, Hindi. Namaste, Mira Nam Amy here. Hello, my name is Amy. What? What? Something f***ing tingled on me. Probably a bat. Oh sh! It fell on me then. All right, well, we get out. I so we just had to leave. Uh, we were just in that dark room there. It's completely dark in there, and and bat just shit on me or something. I don't know what it was. And it's so gross, and I need to get out of here. Alright guys, we found another section of Bangad Fort to do a spirit box and I feel like there's not as many bats around in this area, at least not their droppings, so I can breathe a bit easier and I don't feel so sick. Um, so we're going to give it a shot again here um, and just see if we can reach out and pick up any uh, voices or phrases. Namaste, Mira Nam Amy Ha. Hello, my name is Amy. He are up but karenge. Would you like to talk? Tumhara Nam Kyam He, what is your name?
to Miyaha Keyum Hu. Why are you here? Bala knife, Yaha me a suit wear. Is Bala knife here with me? Julie Bala? Hmm, not sure. Up me is Georgia Kushrop Ki Un Dia. Why did you curse this place? Here up Rajkumari Se Pia Kitehe. Do you love the princess? Maybe it's the princess. Maybe. I heard hello in English, but probably. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I heard that too, but we, our brains won't just hear English because that's all we speak. Muchese but Carlo, talk to me. Timhara Nam Kyum He. What is your name? Donya Wood Alvida. So we definitely got a few voices through there. Not too sure what they said. One definitely sounded like it said hello, but I mean, to us, we, you know, we only speak English, so it's more likely that we would hear a word if it sounds like an English word. That's how we would interpret it in our brains, I guess. So it's hard to say whether we actually got anything. If you do speak Hindi though, and you're able to pull out anything that sounded uh, like a word or a name or a phrase even, uh, let me know in the comments below, I would really love and appreciate that. Oh, okay. Oh, There's a big drop here. I can't feel my torch. Okay. Alright guys, I've managed to swindle a little bit of time inside Bangard Fort. It's not completely dark, uh, the sun has set, but we're still waiting to lose final light. I don't have very much time in here um, at all. The guards have been kind enough to give me 20 minutes. So. so I just want to do a quick walk around of the fort and the places that I found the creepiest or the place that I couldn't actually stay to do a spirit box. We're going to do a ghost tube session. I'm hitting record right now. Super dark, completely dark in here actually, and very creepy. Um, I'm hoping there's no. 
I can hear a bird out there, and there are some people out there still. Security. Security, so if you hear any voices, it's likely them. Uh, How's magnetic readings looking? They're quite steady from what I've seen so far, but I always look away from them and miss when there's fluctuations. I need to add a beeper or something on there, I think. Yeah, that'd be cool. So this is the room that I felt really ill inside. Oh, it still smells just as bad. It still smells. What's the magnetic readings like on it now? You know what? They're quite stable. It's interesting. Well, when I turned around then, they went up. Not heaps, but... No more words, and when we get words through, they're coming through in Hindi. <coughs> so, I mean, they might not mean anything anyway, but I, in the moment, don't know what they mean. So they're things that we need to look up um, afterwards. Big bug in there. All right, let's um, walk through. Yeah, I can't see anything. Can you see anything? Yeah. All right, let's continue down this side. Um, we didn't really explore down here. I think there's a hole in the ground up here, so be careful. Oh, really? 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 We didn't explore down here so much earlier. I don't see a hole. Mm, that looks like a ladder, so it makes you flatter. Maybe that was a hole there. What's in here? Oh, this is another room. That looks like a chapel or something. Yeah. Oh, there's all bugs in here. There's so many They're bugs. not orbs, they're bugs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get excited, guys. Should I get in? Nah. Doesn't look safe down there. It's just rocks and stuff. No, there's holes. There's holes buried under there. Okay. There's another big room. Alright, so let's go back and look at... There's a couple of other rooms in the back too. Whoa. Okay, we just got another word. Did you? Yep. I can't tell you what it was. I think it said behay or something. That was pretty cool of them to let us stay in here a little bit on our own. So, yeah, it's cool. All right, so the area that we're walking through now is apparently connected to a nature reserve and tigers and leopards have attacked and killed people here. And that's terrifying. Where, I can't actually see where we're going. So the fort is uh, up this way, I think. And we're, yeah, just trying to figure out <laughs> where I'm going and hopefully not die. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please remember to like comment share and subscribe if you're after a bit more reading on haunted places i've visited head to amyscrypt.com and remember guys until next time stay spooky